This is not a fairy tale. Come and play the game. If you want to take the tower on, you'll have to say his name. It's Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak, Wily Sneak. <laughs> Now it's off to the tower. You will be up against each other. Sabotage the game, my friend, but do not blow your cover. I am waiting for you, kiddies. Who will take the rap? Because only one will escape, and the rest. <laughs> You're trapped. Ah! You'll do better than to disturb the caretaker during his dinner. The caretaker. That's me. And this bat's wing. That's me dinner. Mmm. Leftovers from the last century. I found it. Stuck behind the shelvings. All right, come on in if you want. Hey, hey but don't think you're going to get a nibble of this. If you're hungry, there's squashed snot grubs underneath the floorboards. Hey, I'm late. And the next bobbing craft of unfortunates will be at the tower soon. Yeah, I think a little more sawdust. <laughs> right. I should have eaten moons ago, you know, but I fell asleep. Yeah. I was dreaming of a far-off land called Cambridge. That's where the next unfortunates are travelling from. So, if you'll be excusing me, the unfortunates are early. Come on, Trev, let's go. <coughs> so, up they come. Ah. Up to the tower. Hey, it might look mouldy, damp and rank, but believe me, it's much worse than that. <laughs> so, who's in my fresh batch of cagelings this week? <laughs> Fabian, he smells of drains. Pooja lives in a garden shed. There's Alessio, who has really airy tours. Joanna, she eats off the floor. Wolfgang used to be a pair of wellies. And Zara, her favourite hobby, is swimming with wet frogs. Ah, I only came to the tower for a night's kip hundreds of years ago, but I've been trapped ever since. The voice caught me. She's a cruel mistress. I've never seen her, but you can always hear her talking in your noise hole. She's promised to let me go, but only if I help her trap as many unfortunates as possible in the tower. <laughs> this is my watch tank. From here, I get to see everything that goes on in the tower. Six unfortunates starts here at the top and works their way downwards. If they make it out the bottom, they're home in time for tea and a nice spider sandwich. But it's not that easy. To escape each floor, they have to complete a challenge together. But one of them cannot be trusted. The saboteur. <coughs> the saboteur's job is to make sure they all fail the challenge. The voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the whisper clip. A cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole. Which means that she can be murmuring helpful stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. <laughs> Floor six, wall of sorrow. The dreaded wall of sorrow. That snivelling, whining, blubbering, whinging little ball. To show you how it's done, here's Wily Sneak, an unfortunate who was trapped a hundred years ago. To succeed at this challenge, the unfortunates have to rebuild the Wall of Sorrow. To pass, the wall must be complete at the end of 90 seconds. They'll have to keep their wits about them, because at some point, all the lights will go out and the saboteur will strike. And then, them unfortunates <laughs> will find out why we call it the Wall of Sorrow. Quick, get building. Remember, the wall must be finished at the end of the challenge. Not everyone will be trying to win. On each floor, there's always someone who can't be trusted. So, who is it this time? Don't look at me. It's up to the voice. 
Zara, do not react. You are the saboteur. You are the only person who can hear my voice. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. I will turn the lights off twice. Try and use these times to knock the wall down. I will warn you when I'm about to do it. This is the part I love best. I know who it is. You know who it is, but the rest of them don't. <laughs> Unfortunates, prepare for the Wall of Sorrow. To pass, you must rebuild the wall. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. Zara, keep calm. Let them take their time. Do what you can to slow them down. You want them not to build the wall in the time. There's a blackout coming soon. In the blackout, you have to do your best to knock the wall down. Sixty seconds. Get near the wall, Zara. Get near the wall. Blackout coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Destroy the wall. Good work. Don't forget to act surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Good acting, Zara. <laughs> At the next blackout, you will have to knock more of the wall down. 30 seconds. The blackout's coming. Five, four, three, two, one. Knock the wall down. Really kick it this time. <laughs> See them rebuild that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. The challenge has been sabotaged. But has the saboteur been seen? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Fabian. Who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it was Joanna, because she was always near the wall when it got broken down. Pooja. I think it was um, Wolfgang, because he was always next to the wall and he put all of the bricks in different places. Alessio. I think it was Wolfgang, because um, he was on the opposite side to all of us. Joanna. I think it was Zara, because she kept making mistakes on purpose. Wolfgang. I think it was Pooja because at the end she fumbled and knocked over a bit of the wall on the left-hand side. Zara, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Wolfgang because he was always next to the wall when it crashed down. You have voted for Wolfgang. The saboteur was, in fact... Zara. <laughs> She's only gonna do it! Wolfgang, you will not be leaving this room. The others are free to pass to the next floor. Wolfgang, why do you think the others voted for you? I was always very close to the wall when it got knocked down. How do you feel about being trapped? I'm pretty upset because it wasn't me. Poor unfortunate Wolfgang. You're trapped! <laughs> Good sabotaging, Zara. With every floor, we trap one more. Floor five, Freaky Factory. This floor doesn't stop for anyone. Freaky Factory, it's easy to get egg on your face with this one. This is Freaky Factory. As a team, the unfortunates must fill the egg boxes on the conveyor belt with matching coloured vulture eggs, which they will find at the back of each booth. To successfully complete the challenge, they must correctly fill five of the coloured boxes. They only have 90 seconds to do it, but beware, the saboteur will be working against them. Remember, one of them cannot be trusted, but who is it? 
Joanna, do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by stopping the others from filling the boxes with eggs. Smash or steal eggs if you like, but be careful. You don't want to get caught. You'll have to be really sneaky to get away with this. Joanna is the next saboteur. The voice in her whisper clip will help her with stinky tips so she can sabotage the challenge. If she remains undetected, Joanna will be saved. But if not, she'll be trapped! Unfortunates, this challenge is Freaky Factory. To pass, you must correctly fill five egg boxes. You have 90 seconds in which to do it. Let the challenge begin now. You can have lots of fun with this, Joanna. Do what you can to stop them filling the boxes. That's good. Mix up the colors. You're doing well, Joanna. The team have not completed any boxes yet. There are many ways you can sabotage this challenge, like smashing eggs and stealing boxes. You don't even have to stay in your booth, but remember, you don't want to be spotted. 60 seconds. Brilliant, Joanna. Now keep low so the others can't see you. One box complete. Excellent sabotage. <laughs> Good work, Joanna. The others don't know what's happening. Careful! Zara's looking. 30 seconds. Carry on, Joanna. You're doing really well. Stay low. No, Joanna. Two boxes completed. Alessia will see. It's too risky. Three boxes completed. Ten, They're starting nine, to complete the boxes. Eight, seven, Try to take as many six, as you can. Five, four. That's three, the way. Quick, back to your booth. Your time is up. You have failed miserably. Looks like the saboteurs done it, but were they spotted? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Pooja. I think it was Joanne, because I kept on hearing banging and screaming. Alessio. I think uh, it was Joanna, because no egg cups were coming to me. Joanna. I actually think it was Alessio, because I heard a lot of crashing next to him. Zara. Um, I'm sure it's Joanna, because I actually saw her face. Fabian, who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Joanna, because... Um, on the conveyor belt, I could see squirts where it'd been, and it looks like it was from Joanna. You have voted for Joanna. The saboteur was, in fact. Joanna. Joanna, you will not be leaving this room. The saboteur's been trapped! <laughs> Joanna, why do you think the others voted for you? Um, because I was quite obvious and it was a hard challenge and I knew I probably wouldn't succeed. Poor unfortunate Joanna. You're trapped! Oh, Joanna, that was, like, so obvious. Four votes! <laughs> Another one trapped. Another goodie point for me! Floor four. Witch's Brew. Let's see who'd like a spell of this challenge. There's nothing like home cooking, and this is nothing like home cooking. The unfortunate challenge is to help my cousin, Ethel the Witch, make a magical potion by fetching ingredients for her spell. All the ingredients are in the jars on the shelves, but those ingredients are confusifying, and it's hard to tell which one is which. Unfortunates must add at least two correct ingredients to pass the challenge. But they'll have to pick carefully, get more than one wrong, and they fail. Can they trust everyone on their team? Not likely. But who will it be? That's up to the voice. It's time to pick the saboteur.
Fabian. Do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure your team fail this challenge. You can do this by stopping the other unfortunates from selecting the correct ingredients. I will tell you which number jar contains the real ingredient. It's up to you to convince the unfortunates to pick a different one. Shock horror! Fabian is the next saboteur. He is not to be trusted. I know that, you know that, but the others don't. <laughs> can Fabian make the others lose so he can win? Unfortunates, this challenge is witch's brew. To pass, you must correctly find at least two of the witch's ingredients. Let the challenge begin now. Hello, dearies. You've arrived in the nick of time, but I need some help to find the ingredients. I need a handful of snow peas. Off you go. Come on, there's not a moment to waste. Fabian, snow peas are in jar one. This one looks good. Yeah. Cold. I don't know. Good. Yeah. Convince them. Is this uh, one. I'm sure. running out. It might be that one. Oh, oh, I'm is running out. Don't, well, yeah. Don't worry. Are you Let ready? Let them have this one. Oh, these. You got it right. Next. Next. Goji berries. Come on then. Fabian, goji berries are in jar two. Make sure they don't pick jar two. I think it, what about jar seven? Yeah, this one. No. Why not? Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's the green ones. Let Pooja pick ones. that jar. It doesn't contain goji berries. Oh. Well done, well done. Tiger nuts! Fabian, tiger nuts are in jar eight. Not tiger nuts. Good. Yeah. They're choosing the wrong jar. Yeah, Remember to act surprised. You don't want to be detected. Oh, no! Your time is up. You have failed miserably. You've got to be sneaky to sabotage successful life. Did the saboteur have what it takes? You must now vote for who you think the saboteur is. Alessio, who do you think the saboteur was and why? I think it's Pooji because she was like ahead of us all and I think she was trying to make us have the wrong bottle. Zara. I actually think it was Fabian because at the beginning when we picked those things they were white and he said not to pick them. Fabian. Who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Pooja, because she kept misleading us. Pooja. I think it was Fabian, because he kept on going to the next door, and when we were in the first door, he kept on flipping to the next one. The vote is a draw. You voted for Fabian and Pooja. It's a draw! Their fate lies in the draw straws. Whoever draws the short straw will be trapped. Fabian, you have drawn the short straw and will therefore be the unlucky one. So close and yet so trapped! I can now reveal the saboteur was, in fact... Fabian. <laughs> Fabian, how do you feel about being trapped? Obviously, I'm sad, but Alessio's going to carry on and I hope he wins it, so yeah. Poor, unfortunate Fabian. You're trapped! Fabian drew the short straw and now he's trapped with some old witch for company. Floor three, sleep creepers. Let's see who's the sleepy head. Ah, sleep creepers, it's bedtime, and the bed bugs are the least of their worries in this challenge. Eight alarm clocks all going off. Oh, what a racket. The unfortunates have got to turn them all off. Once they've done that, they've got to jump back into bed and pull their duvet right over their heads. They can't peek out, but if they hear an alarm, it means the game has been sabotaged, and they'll need to find the alarm and turn it off. They'll pass if all the alarms are off at the end of 90 seconds. 
You know the drill. Who will it be? Who will it be? Who will it be? <laughs> Don't ask me. It's up to the voice. Hooter. Do not react. You are the saboteur. It is your job to ensure the unfortunates fail this challenge. Help your team to turn the alarms off. When they're off, jump into bed, then creep out and reset one or more of the alarm clocks. But remember, when you reset an alarm, you'll only have three seconds to get back under your duvet, so you'll have to be fast. If she remains undetected, Pooja will be safe and just a floor away from freedom. But can she do it? Unfortunates, this is Sleep Creepers. To pass, you must have switched off all of the alarm clocks at the end of 90 seconds. Let the challenge begin now. Okay, Pooja, first help the team, but the real fun starts soon. Now wait, I will tell you when it's safe to go. The coast is clear. Remember, once you've turned the first alarm on, you have three seconds to get back to bed, quick. Okay, Pooja, back to bed. seconds. But wait, I'll tell you when it's safe to go. Go! Zara's got confused and turned an alarm on. This could work in your favor. Wait, I will tell you when it's safe to go. Go. 30 seconds. And be quiet. You don't want to be caught. Time's running out. Remember, you need to make sure at least one alarm is ringing by the end of the challenge. Okay, safe to go. Ten seconds. Oh no, they've done it! Your time is up. You have passed, therefore the saboteur is automatically locked in the room. Being a saboteur is not as easy as it looks, is it? Before I reveal the unlucky unfortunate, who do you think the saboteur is? Pooja. I think it was Alicia because um, I could hear someone jumping and all of the lights were near his bed. Alessio. I think it was Pooja because when my face was on the mattress, I heard someone get out of her bed. Zara. Who do you think the saboteur was? I think it was Pudja because um, Pudja smiled at me like this, like kind of smiled at me, and then um, I didn't hear the thump from next to me. I heard it a bit far away. You voted for Pudja. The saboteur was, in fact, Pudja. Yes. I'm speechless. <laughs> Pooja, why do you think the others voted for you? I think it's because I was a bit no noisy. How do you feel about being trapped? It's disappointing because I've got this far, but I think I'll get over it. Poor, unfortunate Pooja. You're trapped! Another one trapped! Pooja's gonna have plenty of time for sleepies now. Floor two. One way out, and there can only be one winner. It's the fight for freedom! Let's hope the unfortunate has been paying attention. Now they have to fight for their freedom by answering questions about their time in the tower. They're both after the key of freedom. It's simple. Win and you'll escape. Lose and you'll be trapped. Oh, I'm so excited I could kiss a canary. Unfortunates, this is your fight for freedom. The unfortunate with the most correct answers will be the winner. You have 60 seconds to prove yourself. Let the challenge begin now. Alessio, what was the name of the challenge on the sixth floor? Um... 
Pass. Wall of Sorrow. Zara, how many completed egg boxes were needed to pass Freaky Factory? Five. Correct. Alessio, how many ingredients were there in the witch's brew recipe? Three. Correct. Zara, there were statues of two different animals on the sixth floor. What were they? Um, snakes and dragons. Incorrect. Dog and bird. Alessio, who was the saboteur in Wall of Sorrow? Um, Wolfgang. Incorrect. Zara. Zara in Sleep Creepers, which unfortunate used the middle bed. Um, Alessio. Correct. Alessio, how many bricks made up the Wall of Sorrow? 20. Incorrect. 80. Zara, how many times do the lights go out in Wall of Sorrow? Twice. Correct. Alessio and Zara, your time is up. Alessio answered one question correctly. Zara answered three questions correctly. Zara, you are the winner. Congratulations. Alessio, how do you feel about being trapped? Well, I'm okay. Uh, you gave me hard questions, so I'm okay. Poor unfortunate Alessio. You're trapped! Zara, you have won your freedom. Take the key and leave the tower before I change my mind. Zara is going home. The others are trapped alone. <laughs> oh, me. My tummy's grumble rumbling. Time to eat my pudding. <laughs> oh, swaddle clots! Look at me pudding! It's fuggled! Oh, it's ruined! How did that get there? Uh, I'll just have to pick it off. Ooh. Yuck! Uh. Now, scootle, leave me to me pudding before I shut the door. Well, you wouldn't want to get trapped. Thank <laughs> you.